Recently some game reviewing YouTubers got Twitter riled up because of some controversial takes in their videos, which can be boiled down to, the game feels bad because it's made with Unity. So while the gamers and the game developers battle it out on Twitter, I'm gonna take a more practical approach to the discussion by making the same game in three different engines. Now for the game I wanted to copy this tutorial section of Fallout New Vegas, complete with a shooting mechanic, grabbing mechanic, and a bottle breaking mechanic with particle effects. And then throw in an NPC to try the ragdoll functions in the different game engines. And I started with Make some basic shapes in Blender, find some free textures, make them worse, and apply them to the models. Implement it into the game engines and set up some simple sky color and fog. Struggle with making the sky a single color in Unreal. Give up after 20 minutes and just set the clouds to the same color as the sky. Unreal Engine has some bloom HDR thing going on with the sky, so even though I've set the sky color to be the exact same in all engines, Unreal looks different. Is there a way to fix all of this? Yes, of course. Um, do I care enough to figure that out? No. Implement the basic first-person controller in each of the engines. I used one that I made myself in Unity. Unreal comes with a finished one when you start up your project. And I used a free asset for Godot, which happened to come with all of the features that I wanted to implement in this game. So I just deleted all of those and just kept the movement part. I made a cowboy model in Blender, I rigged it, I animated it, and I made a high quality texture by painting directly on the model. I dragged it into the game engines, and I realized that the Godot shadows are the worst thing that I've ever seen, but making the ragdoll in Godot was pretty straightforward. Kind of. I think there's some weird issues with making the ragdoll when you have inverse kinematics on your model, but I made some ugly in-engine workarounds until it worked properly, but then I realized I could stomp him through the ground. There's an easy fix for that, just make the ground bigger. And then learning from my mistakes with Godot, implementing it in Unity, was even simpler. There's always some googling involved in doing anything when it comes to game development, but implementing the ragdoll in Unity took like a third of the time that it took to do it in Godot. Not because it's easier in Unity, it's just that I made all the mistakes in Godot, so I had learned them by the time I got to Unity. Now Unreal... Unreal has this funny little quirky thing it does when you create a physical skeleton where it only puts a few of the bones in the skeleton, so Unreal thought that I should add two bones in my ragdoll, thought that that was fine. I, I disagreed, I wanted a few more. But don't worry, there's a simple fix. Just go into your model in Blender, scale it up by a hundred times, apply the scale, export it, import it into Unreal Engine again, and scale it down by a hundred times. And then you'll have the colliders on the skeleton like you should. Simple. And for now I just turn the ragdoll on and off with a key press or by shooting default balls at it in Unreal until I implement the gun. But first, Let's make some I made a bottle model and then I textured it and whatever, you know the drill. Throw them into the game engines and it's time to make some Skyrim style grabbing physics. In Godot, we start by making a raycast. In Unity, we start by making a raycast. In Unreal, we start by making a line trace. Which is a raycast, but it's Unreal, so mm, it's, a, it's a line trace in Unreal. Anyway, in Godot, raycast. Check if it's a bottle. Add a force to the bottle to center it in front of you. Bottle goes crazy. Why? I don't know. Bang your head on the table. Figure it out? Now it works, but I want to be able to place them on the fence. So we gotta add another force to straighten the bottle. But this force is rotational, so it's got a cooler name. Torque. Add that, and then you've basically made Skyrim. Now I just gotta translate this code from GD script to C sharp and paste it into Unity. And everything works except the torque. Turns out that Godot and Unity handle rotations a little bit differently, so I'm gonna have to dive into some scary code. But I'm smart, so it's fine. I fixed it. Now I just gotta translate this code from C Sharp into Unreal's visual scripting language, which is a little bit more time consuming since they haven't added Unreal blueprints to Google Translate yet. I hear they're working on it, but it's fine. It's surmountable. I translate the code and once again, everything works except the torque. I try to fix it, but I struggle to make the connections, so I decide to replace the physics torque in Unreal with a simple slurp. And I like slurp, because slurp is a funny name, but I couldn't find it among Unreal's nodes in the blueprint. Turns out, everyone else calls it slurp, but Unreal calls it Rinterp2. Because, oh, we're Unreal, we're special, we call it Rinterp2. Now everything works with all the bottles and all the engines, and I need a... 
Model, textures, animations, implement. Copy the Raycast code. If the Raycast hits a bottle, smash it. Now we can destroy the bottles, but I also want to trigger the ragdoll on the cowboy when we shoot him. So I just check the trigger the ragdoll on the cowboy when we shoot him box. Copy paste these things to the other engines. It was pretty straightforward in all the engines, honestly. Now the game is finished. We can shoot the bottles, shoot the cowboy, grab the bottles and... Um, now that's it, that's all we can do. Now yes, there is a noticeable difference in the visual fidelity of the shadows in Godot. And yes, Unreal Engine hindered my artistic vision for the sky. And yes, Unity... Uh, there's bad things about Unity too. My point is the game plays and feels the same in all the different engines. Because the feel of the movement, the feel of the shooting, the feel of the physics is just a number of values in the game engine. And all of those values in all of the game engines are tweakable to perfection. So you can't blame the game engine for that. Or you can, if you want to, but uh, you're gonna look dumb on Twitter. Fun to 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 fun to